lately I've been um, sort of having a different approach to to making pictures where I sort of step out of the way and, and allow things to happen, not only on an intuitive basis, but also in the act of taking the photograph, letting go of control of the tableau or of, this, of the scene. I'll bring the ingredients, the, the people I want to photograph and choose the place, but then just sort of allowing nature to dictate the image. Working with the sun and the, the, the tides in Hawaii, and allowing that to inform me of the image as as I'm working. So it's 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 different than having control or working within the confines of the studio. And it's you know I didn't think I would be having great kind of break mental breakthroughs, creative breakthroughs at this this time in my life, but that's what happened. So it's, it was a big surprise to me, a new way of working. The image here of transfusion is this idea of human beings' connection with nature. A bit autobiographical because when I went back to, to Maui, when the rainforest, I sort of was renewed, not only creatively, but spiritually and physically, allowing nature to heal, you know, getting sort of transfusion from the trees, and it gave me a new chapter this sort of idea of heaven or utopia, what would paradise look like? Capture that in, in, in images and, and touch people through these images, bringing the sort of enlightenment that I've, I've felt through my experience being in, in the jungle. Being really close to nature, having that solitude, the contemplation and introspection that's allowed me to create from a different place. And I, I really want to share that, you know, the, it's a joyful feeling and it's it's a profound feeling and it's something I just wanted to you know, share with other people. I love the tradition of uh, you know, the art historical painters who would use noteworthy people of that time, whether they be benefactors or aristocrats of that time, to be portrayed in, in paintings as, as members of the Holy Family taking that idea to today using you know, someone like Kim Kardashian as Mary Magdalene because there's so much commentary on her. And if you look at her social media, these things that are being said about her are quite evil and horrible. If you read the comments on her Instagram, for instance, for me that there's a connection with, with a historical figure of Mary Magdalene where he without sin throw the first stone. I think a lot of what she inspires is I think a sort of jealousy in people using people that make up our world today in a, in a celebrated way, but putting them in an art historical context for me is, 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 is really interesting um, and exciting for me to, to see.